Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well and welcome back to another Paris vlog. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys along with me as I explore some of Paris's best luxury vintage shops. So shops that sell luxury vintage items and pre-loved luxury bags, clothing, shoes, accessories, you name it. You guys know I love shopping for pre-loved luxury. So I'm going to be taking you guys along with me as I explore these shops, giving you guys my thoughts and tips along the way. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Sophia. I am a complete luxury addict and I upload new videos every single week so like comment and subscribe and without further ado friends let's get shopping and we are on our way friends make sure you stay until the end of this video because I will be sharing which store is my favorite and my overall takeaways and tips as a luxury shopper at these boutiques First stop on my shopping journey is Valois Vintage. I heard a lot about this store in the past and I knew that I needed to check it out. Now this store is actually split into two separate locations on the same street that are managed by the same family. More on that later. The first store that you see here specializes in three brands, Hermes, Chanel, and Dior. This is where you wanna go if you are on the hunt for a Birkin, Kelly, or Chanel vintage flat bag. While I don't necessarily think you're going to find a steal here, I will say that I found the items to be fairly reasonably priced, especially given what I have seen here where I live in the United States. One of the things that stood out to me is the quality and the condition of the items. They don't take just anything here. They only accept items in fabulous condition and according to what is popular in the moment. Some of the items are vintage and then some of them can be from recent seasons within the past few years. There are a lot of interesting and collectible items here. In addition to having a lovely selection of vintage and pre-love luxury bags, they also have the best selection of Chanel jackets that I have ever seen. This is truly one of their specialties and it's also just nice to be able to see and try on the jackets in person since they often come with a pretty hefty price tag no matter what store you're in. Some of my favorite bags that they had were number one this little denim Louis Vuitton backpack from the 2000s. I've shopped for these before online. This is in amazing condition, priced at 4,300 euro. They also had this absolutely exceptional collector's piece, a Chanel flat bag attached with tiny little metal Parisian motifs. Take a look at those, such a work of art. This is definitely a very special piece in their boutique. And the price also definitely reflects that. This was 15,000 euro. Next, check out this stunning Chanel Diana bag. I adore this, I remember when the these used to be pretty reasonably priced, but with all the price increases, the quality of this bag and just the popularity of the style now, this one is priced at 6,200 euro. Definitely expensive, but not too, too bad compared to what you're seeing for classic flaps these days from the boutique. This Chanel bronze vanity case is a stunning collector's piece. I really like that this one it's so different from the usual Chanel flaps that you basically see everybody wearing these days, but it's still very, very functional. This was priced at 6,900 euro. Speaking of classic flaps, take a look at the color of this one. I love how modern and fresh this looks, especially with the shiny leather and the silver hardware. I can see something like this both being dressed up, but also kind of dressed down a little bit of an edgy look with jeans and a t-shirt also priced at 6,900 euro. Finally, finally friends, I wanna show you all this stunning Hermes Kelly 28 in a deep navy blue with gold hardware. I know it kind of looks like it's black, but it actually is a very deep, beautiful Parisian navy blue. The condition was amazing and the price was even better. 14,000 euros, which I know is a lot of money, but definitely relatively cheap for a smaller Kelly on the pre-love market. Sometimes I see these things going for over, well over $20,000 in the United States. I thought this bag was so classically Parisian. I can see it adding elegance to any outfit. Overall, I definitely recommend checking out this store next time you are in Paris, especially if you are looking for bags or Chanel jackets. They also do have an eShop, friends, so make sure you check the description box for those details because I'm gonna be linking all of that down below. The staff at Valwall Vintage were so kind, they actually escorted me to their sister store, which is located on the same block. Here they sell a variety of clothing, 
bags, and accessories from other brands like Louis Vuitton, YSL, Fendi, Burberry, literally you name it. And while I was there, I was introduced to the woman who started it all, Chantal. This family, they are luxury experts. She explained to me that they used to produce costume jewelry for Chanel and then eventually founded Valois in 1998. Each of the sisters' stores are run by either Chantal or one of her lovely daughters. They all manage the store inventory, merchandising, and authentication in-house. And they don't have to do much sourcing for their product. The store is so well known that Parisians and other Paris visitors schedule appointments daily for the opportunity to sell their items. In the second location, I noticed specific specialties like Louis Vuitton bags, designer shoes, and designer clothing. They had an eclectic mixture of luxury vintage clothing, everything from Chanel dresses to Burberry trenches to YSL jackets. If there is a brand or specific style that you are looking for, make sure that you ask the staff since they often have special items and excess stock stored upstairs in this location and they are very happy to help you find your next treasure. And you know what, friends? There's even more on this same street because Chantal told me that they have a third store on the same block that is managed by her youngest daughter, Emily. The store is called Ejane, although I will give you guys a heads up, it's going to be rebranded to Old Fashion Club. I'm gonna link their Instagram and eShop below so you have the right business. And keep in mind that they do ship worldwide. But enough of that, more about the shop. This was my favorite luxury resale store of the day, maybe ever. You can really see Emily's style and taste in the curation of the products. Not only is everything good quality, but incredibly chic and wearable. This is the kind of place where no digging is required. You barely have to walk two feet to find something cute and stylish. I started in the back of the store with the clothing. I would say the pieces here are fewer, but highly curated. I particularly love the mixture of Chanel garments from dresses to coats to jackets. Everything had some sort of interesting detail. I was especially fond of this oversized fluffy tweed coat. I also really like the classic YSL jackets only from the years when he was the designer, of course, and several other brands like Alaya, Versace, and Mugler. Ejade also had a beautiful selection of jewelry and brooches, especially from Chanel. I was particularly fond of their classic Chanel chain belts. As for bags, most of them are displayed along the main wall of the store. Once again, everything is in exceptional condition. I would say most of the bags are Chanel styles with a lot of beautiful vintage styles of which I am very fond of. But there are also some Dior, Hermes, and Louis Vuitton represented as well. At Valois, I felt as though the bags were a little bit more unique and collectible, whereas at Ejare, most of the styles were very everyday chic with lots of practical neutrals and then the occasional ultra-feminine novelty bag. I preferred how these were merchandised because at Valois, most of the bags were inside a case and here they were just very easy to walk up to and look at, you know, in the light of the store right in front of you before asking for help to try one on. Overall, I would say my favorite part of the store was the exceptional curation of ready to wear. Each piece was just so good and an absolute pleasure to peruse. I would say the only downside of the store is that they do not do detax. Price wise, I don't think you're going to find a steal here, but most of the items were priced competitively with what I'm seeing on the market and you are also paying for the uniqueness and the quality of the item. I would say do your research ahead of time so you can understand what things are going for, what is unique and what isn't. I did leave with a little bit of something from this store but you guys are gonna have to subscribe to my channel to see what I got in my next unboxing video. Next stop, Opulence Luxury and Vintage. This business has three locations and I visited two of them on this trip. I believe this one is the original store, which is on Rue Réamur. This location is pretty small, so I'm not sure I would recommend going to this specific one out of their three stores. Nevertheless, they do have a beautiful curation of items across brands. I can't say that they have a specific specialty necessarily because there isn't a ton of room in this store for a lot of merchandise, but they had some very beautiful Louis Vuitton pieces 
pieces and lots of very interesting and special costume jewelry. When I called the store actually to ask if I can film, it went straight to the owner's cell phone and he was so nice friends. I also loved his employees who were incredibly friendly Highly recommend checking out this little boutique, especially if you are new to luxury shopping and you want a super friendly staff that can help you shop for the perfect item. After perusing the Rue Raymer store, I headed over to their largest location on Rue Danielle Casanova. What a treasure trove of a store. On the first floor, they have a curation of bags and costume jewelry that they source from all over the world. To be honest, I was surprised not to see more bags. I think here in the United States, we are used to huge resale sites like Fashion File and The Real Real that have huge inventories. But here in Paris, everything is much smaller and carefully curated. While the upstairs of the store is small, the downstairs is a large basement filled with designer clothing. Wow, the selection was so cool. One of the best parts of buying vintage is often the shopping experience, kind of learning the story behind the item, the collection, where the reseller found the item. Like, why is it special? The sales associate was basically like a personal shopper. He gave me a tour of all the clothes. He seriously made it so, so fun to shop. The breadth of brands that they had was very nice. Mugler, Chanel, YSL, Dior, Gucci, Celine, literally everything. And you know what? I think that everything was very reasonably priced as well. I noticed that the prices here were a lot cheaper than what I saw in other stores and the selection was also vast. If you are shopping for ready to wear, definitely recommend this specific store. Some of my favorite pieces that I tried on were this chic tailored YSL jacket. See the little bejeweled buttons? I also was very fond of this silky Mugler bow blouse. Wow, this is what silk is supposed to feel like. Probably the nicest I've ever felt and I love the beautiful pattern and mixture of bright colors. I also tried on this gorgeous Balmain sweater dress. I love kind of the fitted shape of this, very Balmain, very chic and French. I also really like the geometric print on this one as well. Check out this little Versace set that reminded me of modern art. Maybe like a Joao Miro painting with a little bit of pop art. This one was a little bit small on me, but I still thought it was a very exceptional set. Finally, check out this old Celine dress, which can also be worn as a jacket if you sort of undo the butt buttons, maybe on top of a pair of jeans or a t-shirt. The sales associate actually picked this one out for me and I never would have tried it on otherwise, but I love the colors and I thought it was very cool, unique, and of exceptional quality. I also want to mention friends that this store does offer DTAX on their items and I will be linking their eShop down below since they ship to other countries outside of France. Well, there you have it, friends. Those are the best vintage luxury resale shops to check out in Paris. Are there any that you've been to that I should look into next time? I did promise you guys I would tell you my favorites and also just my general takeaways, learnings, tips from my trips to these stores. Overall, I think that I liked Asia Ray for the curation of unique items and I liked Opulence Casanova store for the wide selection of ready to wear and also the deals. Like I said earlier, I think that in Paris, I would have expected to see a greater selection of bags. There certainly were some gems, but not as much volume as I see on the US resale sites. You aren't going to get a huge selection of the same style. So if you are looking for something very specific, it's almost better to shop across online sites or maybe even Japanese resellers. I think for bags in these boutiques, it's more about finding the unique pieces, well-priced vintage items and Hermes quota bags in good condition. That's where I really saw it being worth it, especially if you can also get the detox. Jewelry items can be great to shop, but if you are looking for a very classic Chanel brooch, just kind of like your run of the mill earrings, those kinds of things, you're probably going to find a better deal online because of the competition between online buyers. Look for unique pieces from maybe specific collections, those types of things, because that's where you're really gonna find something special for the price. Where I think these stores really shine is the curation of ready to wear pieces. As you might have seen in my previous video, where I shared my tips for luxury shopping, ready to wear at online resale sites, it can be very hard to tell the quality, condition, and sizing of the item online. And in the stores I've been to in the United States, the selection is kind of awful. I feel like at these stores in Paris, 
you really get a great selection, quality, and better pricing in some cases than you do elsewhere. You get to touch and feel the item, try it on, and experience for yourself. That was where I had the most fun with shopping for the ready to wear. And there you have it, friends. Those are my takeaways. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog and my little pair of shopping guide. I want to personally thank all of the stores that I visited for kindly letting me film within their shop, capturing all the beautiful treasures that they have on sale. So thank you so, so much to all of the shop owners. Make sure you check the description box for the e-shops, the Instagrams, and the addresses for all these stores. And don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel because I come out with new videos just like this one every single week. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.